I wish to create another in context part. This time I'm going to create a nylon bushing to support my shaft in this end bracket. So once again, what do we do? Select the assembly tab, the drop down menu from insert components, tell to insert a new part. I'll just click in white space to accept the insert of a new part. Let's collapse all of these items. And down at the bottom of the feature tree, we see my new part. So I'll slowly double click, rename it nylon bushing. And I want to edit this new part. So I'm going to edit the part in the context of the assembly. From this face, I'm going to create an extrusion. And the more parts I have, the more confusing it is to see what's happening. So I want to be very careful. I'm going to zoom in on this end. And I'm going to use my convert to entities command. I want to convert the whole of my end support. And I want to convert the OD of my screw shaft. So I've converted those two entities. And if I zoom in more, we can see there's a gap because of the slot here. So I'll grab one of the converted endpoints, drag it over, and create a full circle. So I'll accept this sketch, exit the sketch, take me back to the extrusion. I'm going to rotate around. And I would like this to stay the same length as my end support. So for my end condition, I'm going to tell it up to surface. And again, it's somewhat difficult to see. But if we move around, I want to select this face of my end support in here. Make sure I get the correct face. Say OK. And I've created a nylon bushing that will update as this part updates and return back to my part. So I've created the bushing and I need to edit the material to nylon. 